We have a variety of different devices that are really showcasing how biometrics can be used to create a new and interesting, safe ways to pay. So there's a POS terminal that has a fingerprint reader, and so in that scenario, you would insert your chip card into the reader, you insert your fingerprint on the terminal, and it matches the, the fingerprint, that template that's on file for that card. And if it's you, the transaction goes through, and if it's not, the transaction would stop. We have both a facial recognition and iris recognition that is being used to get access to a digital wallet. So rather than entering your checkout password, you would just take a picture of your face or, or scan your eyes and it would get you access to the wallet. The last device is a little bit more future thinking. It's using vein recognition, vein patterns, and you simply swipe your hands over this reader and it then it will match on file that it'll do a match on file and say, is this the genuine consumer? And if yes, it'll get you access to your funds on file. So the, the technology is real. What we'll work on is how do we get this deployed in the market? Because merchants have to adopt the technology, consumers have to enroll, and so we're, we're yet to see kind of how that's gonna play out. With iTouch on Apple devices, and with that being introduced, people are now starting to see, hey, this is actually really convenient. So as long as we can prove to the consumers that we are gonna make sure that when biometrics are used, it's safe and secure, I think over time it will happen. Some consumers will likely say never. I'm never doing this, and that's fine too. It's all up to the consumer to decide if they want to use it or not.